We're setting the date as Sunday, mm -hmm. February 5th, 4th. 4th. And this is Linda. There's my plate there. But <laughs> we're here for breakfast again. Just, just to remind you, this is what's outside the window. Just to remind you. Across the way out there. Thank you. It's currently snowing, but just barely. A little snow, uh -huh. and it depends on which weather thing you look at, it's somewhere between 27 and 30 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's have breakfast. So, Terry, tell me what you're doing. Okay, I have got, we decided to have a little fun here of a different kind, and I bought a trail cam. Uh huh. <laughs> and, and what we're doing is our best navigation and stuff. I don't know why you would assume, but there's trash cans here and open plains here. And this is an employee area down it's here. An employee, so there's not a lot of traffic. What we also see here is a lot of hoof prints and everything right here. So right on this stand of trees right here, we're going to put the trail cam on. Yeah. And then we'll come back tomorrow uh -huh. and we'll pick it up and we'll see if any of these animals that have made these hoof prints have come in overnight so I'm gonna I was gonna here. try to show I don't know if I'm getting while well, you're getting that ready some of the tracks oh yeah yeah there look they're here 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 yeah right here and then over there they yeah. just eat up with it. so this is I'll show you up above where there's trees and then there's the side of the canyon so we think that they probably come down this little path right here into this to cross over and the river is across the street so terry's gonna strap that camera on i'm gonna try to get up here without falling down <clears throat> So Terry moved from this tree up to the th skinnier one because he's going to try to put the, kill, the trail cam a little bit, disguise it just a little bit. Hi there. So, just so you know, I don't know if you can tell, but Terry's not damaging the tree at all. It's just a, a strap that he's wrapping around. <clears throat> and, of course, we're using the trail cam just to photograph animals, not to, you know, not to in any way harm them. No. All it does is take pictures. Yeah. Okay, so it's on, motion activated, so if something comes down through here, it'll take it within a tenth of a second uh -huh. of it breaking the plane and it'll record for 12 seconds. Then it'll shut off and when something comes again, it'll start over. So there you go. Okay, here we go. I'm going to uh, zoom in on it so you can see it and then we'll skedaddle. There it is. All right, we're looking at two really good-sized deer out there, and I'll show you where we're at. We're right off the road here. There's the river. There's the greatest photographer in the wide world taking pictures. And then this is the road. We're probably a quarter of a mile from the end of this road here but we've been looking ever since we got here for the wildlife that they say comes down here in the winter time because it's too cold up up high this is the first time we've seen anything 
but uh, so here we are, right there. Just laying down, taking it easy. <laughs> right, just, uh, just for the fun of it, that's, that's the deer there. But this is where they're at, just so you got an idea. Just get a, get a <laughs> perspective. There's the river. And then out to here. Look out there. Look, look right there. People like the snow-covered mountains. It don't get no better than that, does it? <laughs> right. Down to the plains here at the bottom of the canyon. The river running through it. And the deer sitting out on the, just past the bank over there. Looking up. Crazy. Okay. All right. It is still Sunday, February 4th, I suppose. And we are now at the court of the patriarchs. And we're going to show you that this is what they're talking about. Oh, yeah. Look up the, oh, man. Can you even get that high? Look at that. Just move across and you see the rest of the story. Court of the Patriarchs. And then right down there is the river. It's most beautiful. All right, so this stop here. It's called the Grotto. It's uh, on the loop, it's stop number six on the shuttle loop. And uh, one up, number five is our lodge. And this is the next bridge, since the bridge is out at the lodge, this is the bridge that'll get you across the river. And uh, what we'll see when we get across the river is you can go right and head towards Ain uh, Angel's Landing and Walter's Wiggles and all, or you can go left and head toward the uh, Emerald Pools. So Linda, we're about to take a little hike. Let's go. Bye. Right. Okay, as you can see, I'm on the, on the bridge now at the grotto, looking down the river, looking back at the world's greatest photographer, through the meadow here, and back down the River going that way. Now, we're going to see what this sign says here, but going out across here is the West Rim Trail, and then going up takes you to the uh, takes you to the Emerald Pools. So let's see. West Rim Trail. Scout Lookout is two. Okay, this is the Grotto Landing. Uh, again, it is still Sunday, February 5th. I don't know what time it is. It's, uh, that don't matter. It's noonish. I was going to look at the temperature because it feels like it's getting cooler. It does, doesn't it? So we've, we've parked over there. We were fortunate enough to get a parking space. This is stop number six on the shuttle run. And it's uh, one, number five is the lodge, but the bridge is out at the lodge. So you have to come up here and walk backwards. So we parked here, but what it says here, this going forward in this direction is the West Rim. The West Rim goes to Scout Lookout, Angels Landing, Lava Point. And then you can go left to the Cayenta Trail to the Emerald Pools. And that's what we're doing. And that says to make sure that you have a permit if you think you're going to Angels Landing. But let's head up toward the Cayenta Trail. Hey. 
Hi, Linda. Wave to me. <laughs> this is the. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. It is. This is the Cayenta Trail. And I mean, I'm going to show you the rest of the trail. Heading right on up through, up through there and around. Goes on for another mile or two. Hooks up with the uh, Emerald Trail for the Emerald Pools. And uh, right down there, you can see our rental car. And we're heading back down. Been a fun trip. And we're a little tired. But uh, it's it, gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Look at this little tree Linda design. Yeah, all kind of cool stuff here. Alright, let's head down. This is the way we do hiking. I'm gonna say Linda, maybe we've defined hiking as compared to just out for a walk. Uh-huh. Because this is definitely not just out for a walk. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to turn it off about now and just concentrate on being out for a walk. Okay, so we've just come down from the Cayenta Trail. Got a little bit of video there. And now we're going to go across the West Rim for a little while. We're not going to go too far. But this does head to... You can pass us. Yeah, come on around. Enjoy it. Oh, you thank too. you. Thank you. Thank you. They look like lots of wiggles kind of people. They look like angels landing. <laughs> but this is the... Look yeah. at the water. Just look at the color of the water. Yeah. This is gorgeous. I think it's completely gorgeous. Yeah. Let me set this off for a few minutes. Concentrate on walking. Okay, so we're still on the west trail here. But that rock sitting up there, all the way to the top, all the way to the top is Angel's Landing. And this is the trail we're just coming back from. Around, goes around, goes up, and starts an elevation change. It's unbelievable. There goes a little far across the road over there. And you can see the elevation of the bank yeah, over there and uh, how this river grows when the flash floods come. It just keeps it over. I want to get Linda to take a picture with her camera here in a minute of that tree because this thing here doesn't zoom. And since it doesn't zoom, I can't get a good picture. So she'll come over here and snap this picture and it'll be most beautiful. But this is... This is the West Rim Trail. And we're heading back to the grotto now, but we went around there about two and a half, four miles. It's beautiful. checkerboard mesa and the neat thing about the checkerboard mesa right this minute for us anyway is the fact that it is uh, has snow on it and just enough sh snow to accentuate the horizontal and vertical lines that make it the checkerboard and this is extremely awesome Linda, wow. is this extremely awesome? It is extremely awesome. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. You have to love this, man. There's a hole right over there on the side. Uh huh. Look at the crevice between these two. Yeah. All right, let me come around and see the crevice between the two. It's right there. There it is. <laughs> Mira, prima. Ay, no te vayas. Ay, no, 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 no. There. Wow. You're so cute. <laughs> you look into us. So, so <laughs> adorable. Now that's not a fence to hold them in. That is a, that's a handrail to keep us from falling down. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, look at the little tiny one right up here. All right. This is, I don't know what that is down there, but this is it. This is the uh, overlooking of the canyon. And I don't know what this is right here. I'm going to walk over to it. It's a, it's a place where go. Yeah. <laughs> you, well, there are a lot of hoof prints in there, and also, that's pretty cool. And then this is the trail that we'll be walking out of to get back down to the parking lot. And I'm gonna go with now, this is a hike, this is not a uh, walk, all right? This is so worth it. Yeah. Oh all my right. gosh, it's it go. it steep, but it's worth it. Yeah. I wish I could show you one. That's well, better, I know. But... <laughs> you know, here's what's going to happen. About, about the time you see our car go around down there, that thing's going to go off, and you're going to say, yeah. there it is. <laughs> that, probably not today, but it's uncanny how often that does happen, though. Yeah. I, usually I tell people, I have condors around here, but you got to be patient yeah. to see them fly. Yeah. yeah. And they'll spend an hour with me, and they, okay, our patience is done. They get on yeah. the shuttle or get in their vehicle. Two minutes later, yeah. <laughs> here comes the condor. It happens 99% of the time. But that's pretty cool because you, at least you have a, an idea. They, here they come. Yeah. That's so hopefully. Yeah. Okay. So the problem you... is that they are battery operated and sometimes oh. the batteries start oh, running sure. low. Yeah. And, and they don't just come in and get new batteries, do they? Our male that frequency area over here, he, he hasn't been caught in years. Uh huh. 
and his battery's way on the tail end of being had. <laughs> I've had visuals of him here and I cannot get his signal. Uh -huh. And then all of a sudden he'll turn just the right way or fly, uh -huh. boom, then I get a signal. Yeah. Thanks for turning it on, buddy. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so hey. are, you, are you a condor person only or a bird person? I am a condor person, uh -huh. okay, but I volunteer in the park here. That's so cool. So. I love that. Yeah.